Welcome back to Howie's Reviews. In early 2020, during the annual CES, Withings showed off a new watch called the Scan Watch. Withings packed in an impressive amount of features and sensors into it. While they released it in 2020, the Scan Watch took until November of 2021 to hit the U.S. market. We're going hands-on with this amazing timepiece with advanced technology on board. <laughs> So what is the scan watch? It's a hybrid smartwatch with a traditional analog watch while also offering a small digital display. Withings claims the scan watch has a clinically validated electrocardiogram or ECG that will display results in 30 seconds. The scan watch also has a clinically validated SpO2 sensor otherwise known as blood oxygen. We're also presented with advanced sleep tracking activity tracking such as daily steps and workouts, heart rate and breathing disturbance tracking. And with all those powerful sensors, you can get up to 30 days of battery life. Specs. The 38 millimeter model has a watch face size of 1.6 inches. It's 13.2 millimeters thick, weighing 58 grams, and accepts an 18 millimeter band. The 42 millimeter model, which I have, is just slightly bigger at 1.65 inches, 13.7 millimeter thick, and 83 grams. This model uses the 20 millimeter band. They both have nice solid stainless steel cases with chrome hands and a wonderful sapphire glass. This watch is solid and feels very premium. Unboxing. Taking a quick look around the packaging, it shows off a few of the features on the side of the box. Here we see it mentioned heartbeat notifications, atrial fibrillation detection, and overnight breathing disturbances. On the back of the box are even more features listed, such as the medical grade SpO2 and ECG. As we cut the tape, open the top of the box, and remove the carton inside, you'll be presented with this gorgeous pouch with Withings branded on the front of it. Opening the small case, you will see the scan watch right in the middle and two Velcro pockets on the front and back. We'll put the watch to the side for the moment. The charger is stored in the rear compartment. This makes it easy to bring your items if you travel. There are also a few documents in the box which might be a good thing to read. Display. The first thing to note here is that the watch has a curved sapphire glass, which while strong, does make it a bit more challenging to get good photos of the digital display with all the lighting around. The scan watch hosts a classic looking analog watch face, 42 millimeters or 1.65 inches, with a small digital display of 13.8 millimeters or 0.54 inches and with a display quality of 116 by 80 pixels. The hands can glow in the dark for a couple hours, which is great to glance at in the middle of the night without having to hit the dial button on the side to activate the digital display. This small PMOLED, that's right, not AMOLED, PMOLED panel is nice and bright and easy to read. It can not only show the different menu options with basic icons, but can also scroll notifications that come from your Bluetooth connected iPhone or Android. Compare sizes. I have a few smartwatches and fitness trackers here to compare the size of the Withing Scan Watch. First, here we have the Scan Watch on the left next to the Garmin Forerunner 945 sitting on the desk. Here are three more shots with the Garmin on the left now and the Scan Watch on the right closer to my wrist when worn. Next, I have three more shots with the scan watch next to my wrist and the new Amazon Halo View to the left. Now taking a look at the new Fitbit Charge 5 with the scan watch. For those Apple Watch users, I've added the Series 6 on the rightmost of the two pictures. And finally, here's a fun collection of them all with a bonus. Across the top is the Apple Watch Series 6, Amazon Halo View, and Fitbit Charge 5. Along the bottom is the Withing Scan Watch, Garmin Forerunner 945, and the classic Pebble Watch Kickstarter Edition. Battery Life 
Withings rated this smartwatch with up to 30 days of battery life. Very impressive if you don't turn on the respiration scan feature or do constant ECG scans. My first few days of usage trying out all the different things it offers, I'm still sitting at roughly 90% battery. They stated a few times on their website, so they must stand by it. Heart rate sensor. This is not a scientific test or analysis. This smartwatch is very impressive with all the advanced features. The heart rate sensor can record your heart rate 24 seven. And on top of that, it is actually able to detect heart health conditions and alert you of atrial fibrillation or AFib. ECG. This is not a scientific test or analysis. The scan watch includes an electrocardiogram sensor or ECG sensor. This feature took a while to be released as it had to be FDA approved and clinically validated as a medical grade ECG. In fact, when you get your scan watch, you have to first enable the ECG, then agree to a few things in the Withings app, then Withings will send that first ECG scan off to be reviewed by medical professionals. Then that professional will write a prescription allowing you to use the ECG feature of the watch anytime you wish. The app says you'll usually get a response 24 to 48 hours later, but I received mine pretty quickly in just a few hours on Christmas Eve, no less. So I think they try to approve these pretty quickly to get people using them. I'm sure it also helps them to collect some data samples to track and improve the accuracy of their ECG scans. You can even export the ECG session as a PDF to provide to your doctor. Here are a few reports that the scan watch produces for you to share with your doctor or cardiologist. SpO2. This is not a scientific test or analysis. The medical grade SpO2 sensor on the scan watch can record your blood oxygen levels and during sleep if the respiratory scan feature is enabled can also track episodes of breathing disturbances which could indicate sleep apnea. Here's a small clip of what it looks like when the scan watch does not get a good read of your blood oxygen and another clip showing what a proper reading would look like. Sleep data. This is not a scientific test or analysis. This is the area I focused most of my time tracking. I compared each night against my Amazon Halo View, Fitbit Charge 5, and my Sleep Tracker by Beautyrest, which is an under the mattress device. Most wrist based sleep tracking devices have a hard time deciphering the different sleep stages, so Withings decided to approach us by not defining REM sleep. Instead, the scan watch will only display light and deep sleep. Here is a chart of the last few nights of sleep. We're going to ignore the score column as I feel this is an arbitrary number and would assume that each platform has their own measurement and weight for each portion of the score itself. Starting with the most recent night, December 28th, you can see four different devices that recorded my sleep. The Amazon Halo View and my sleep tracker under the mattress sensor both agree on when they think I fell asleep around 1 a.m. They also both agree closely on the duration of REM sleep, the time I spent awake, and the number of disturbances during the night. Here in the blue box, you can see when the Withing Scan Watch thinks I fell asleep. It is drastically off by over an hour. This isn't the only time the Scan Watch did that. In fact, you can see it also on the 24th. Because the Scan Watch does not display REM, we cannot reliably compare deep or light either since those will be off by absorbing the total sleep time into those two categories instead of three. We do see the heart rate detection is similar to the other devices and respiration rate is a match to the sleep tracker bed unit and SpO2 is pretty close to that captured by the Fitbit Charge 5. Next, looking at the data from the 27th, we can see the Amazon Halo View, Fitbit Charge 5, and Sleep Tracker are all relatively close to the same start time of the sleep session shown in red, with ScanWatch being around 30 minutes earlier, again in blue. All sensors are within a margin of error for detecting when I woke up. None of them agree on the amount of time I spent awake. You can see that three of the four devices match up nicely for heart rate detection, with only the Halo View being slightly higher. This is because the Halo View seems to have an error in the data for what it captures as me waking up and for when it stops logging that heart rate, as you can see from these two screenshots with a large jump at the very end. Finally, the SpO2 and respiration rates are in agreement. The third night here, the 26th, you'll see some similar results. My second night with the scan watch was slightly better with the start of my sleep time still early but closer to that are the Halo View and Fitbit Charge 5, and the end of my sleep session matching the Sleep Tracker bed unit. Finally, as mentioned earlier, the first night with the Withings device was poor, with sleep detection starting halfway through the night. But hey, 
at least the heart rate, respiration, and SpO2 all matched, again with the exception of the Halo View, which we saw doesn't always filter out the jump of the heart rate when I wake up. Conclusion So is the Withings Scan Watch the best of the bunch? No, definitely isn't, but to be fair, sleep tracking is difficult for any wrist-based device using a single lead, like these all do. That's why professionals use a much more complicated system. Is it good enough for basic health conscientious users? Absolutely. The scan watch was just FDA approved to enable the ECG, so hopefully Withings will continue to improve the data produced by the sleep analyzer. Would I recommend the scan watch? Depends on the person. If you want a gorgeous watch that does some impressive tasks with the hope of improvements, then yes. If you can find it for a great deal, then absolutely. Otherwise, I think the Fitbit Charge 5 and or the Halo View by Amazon seem to work slightly better for much less money. Thank you. I really hope you found this information useful. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps the YouTube algorithm to put this video in front of others that may be thinking about this beautiful watch.